Welcome and thank you for spending this holiday season with 2K Sports as we get ready for the special NBA presentation. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter, Al. And this matchup, a little bit of a rarity now, Grant. Neither team in a hurry to get in transition. Yeah, B.A., these teams have almost a throwback style to how they play. They don't want to get up and down and play fast. They want to go slow, and that takes players who have patience and discipline. Tonight will be a tactical battle. And now the opening lineup for Chicago. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Williams at power forward with Vucevic at center. And it's Caruso in at the point guard. Here's Mitchell. The wide open shot is on the money. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Take it away. Pass to Osman. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. And yeah, it's hard to believe that Garland is only getting better at this, developing into a skilled playmaker. Vucevic, a screen on Mitchell. Levine passes to Williams. On the wing, DeRozan. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Vucevic gets the bucket. Oh, just a clever play by DeRozan. Using the pick and roll to make space for someone else. First quarter, just over a minute play. And for the Cavaliers, RJ, they found a little bit of rhythm, finally, after the LeBron era. They sure have. A little three-year skid. It looked like they were lost, but they kept some veterans around and brought in some great young talent. Maybe not title contenders, but they can make a big splash. And the dunk by Levine! The belief of Levine. Willing to do that in a game? Ooh, man. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the floor. Garland against Caruso. The three from Mitchell. And can't get it. He's now one of three. Mitchell's gone one of three shooting so far. Shot by Levine. No good. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Here's Osman. And it's Chicago with a board. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. Here's Mitchell. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. When you're guarding Mobley, you have to finish the possession on D. Seal him off or Evan. Look, this man is going to punish you on that glass. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. On the wing, DeRozan. Picked by Vucevic. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Mitchell with the ball. He's picked up by Levine with the step back. Pass to Mobley. Garland with the ball. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Chicago trailing here. Now DeRozan. Oh, deflected. They push it up four on three. Outside Mitchell. Here's Osman. He's guarded by Caruso. Osman on the wing. Taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Williams passes to Vucevic. Caruso finds Vucevic. Stolen by Mobley. Garland against DeRozan. Outside Garland. Over DeRozan. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. 111 left in the opening quarter. And man, it has been so impressive watching Evan Mobley, my pick for the rookie of the year, make such a quick impact in the league. You've got to be excited about his future. Here's Vucevic, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. What I love about Vucevic is he's aggressive looking for his shot, which draws the defense's attention. Shooting for Chicago, Nikola Vucevic, two shots. A 
the first free throw is good. You love a big man like Vucevic. Puts in the effort to keep improving. For example, look at what he's done with this perimeter shooting. The Bulls making a switch here. Andre Drummond is checked in for Williams. Green comes in for DeMar DeRozan. White, he's checked in for Levine. And it's DeSumo in for Caruso. Okoro, no good. The Bulls have gone two for five here in the first. Green, the pass to Vucevic. And that comes off the assist by Green. Vucevic has got six points. Your merciless play by Vucevic down low. Crashing through the contact to finish strong. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. And here's Levert for three. Doesn't go that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Their last encounter was in Chicago. Last time these teams met, it came down to the wire. The bench play in that game was the difference. Anytime you get starter level production out of the second unit, you put yourself in a position to succeed. Shooting for Chicago. Ayo, Yasumi. One shot. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Down low, Okoro. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. Back to Tsumu. Drummond with the screen. Two on the clock. The layup off target. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. It's the Bulls. They're up by three. And we'll be back right after this. can jump out ahead in the second quarter. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. The Cavs trailing. Ricky Rubio is out there with Karis LeVert. Then it's Jared Allen. Then there's Isaac Okoro. And it's Stevens in at the power forward position. That's the group for Cleveland getting going in the second. Here's DeSumo. Cavaliers with a rebound. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. Yeah, if you allow a team to shoot such a high percentage in their own building, you're going to have a big hill to climb. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. And DeRozan, here we go. And the dunk by DeRozan. So quick to get by the defenders. DeRozan with the flush. Levert with the ball. Last game for him. He picked up 13. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. From 11 feet away, that one's wide left. Chicago leading. You know, throughout Karis LeVert's career, he's battled an array of injuries. Well, it's inspiring that he's still here. Despite all the setbacks, he's still making an impact, wanting to prove that he belongs. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but the star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. The Bulls have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Oh, rejected by Allen. Allen with the range and the length to block shots anywhere on the floor. On the attack, Green. It's good. And the Bulls lead by three. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Cleveland calls timeout. For the Cavaliers. 
Evan Mobley. He's checked in for Okoro. And Darius Garland subbed in for Levert. So it's the Cavaliers now, and after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. Garland, the pass to Mobley. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grand. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds ways to help the team even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. And the first one at the line is good. Well, there's so much worldwide talent in basketball right now. Teams have scouts in every corner of the globe, RJ. Yeah, you have so much talent around this league, and you only have to go back a few years when you had every single postseason award was won by uh, an international player. You had Pascal Siakam, Rudy Gobert, Giannis, uh, and Luka Doncic when you talk about Rookie of the Year. So it was so much talent overseas, and it's all starting to come to the best league in the world. Mobley with the block. Mobley is tough to do anything against. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mitchell's checked in. Drummond with the screen. Caruso, the pass to Drummond. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Outside Garland. Oh, there's the alley! And Mitchell with the slam. A guard with major hops. Now, you know Mitchell loves getting chances to finish off those alley-oops. For Chicago, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Drummond with the screen. Levine passes to Drummond. That one drops for him. Drummond's got six in the quarter. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Drummond's gone three for four from the floor tonight. Inside, here's Allen, and count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. One shot. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That one drops. He ties it up. And Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot, Greg. Yeah, B.A. Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Knock loose. Here's Caruso. The shot, no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. Here's Osman. Pass to Mitchell. Allen a screen. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Down to five on the shot clock. From the top of the key, jump shot is good. Garland's got his first points in this one. The quick thinking of Garland in the pick and roll. His decision making is so impressive. And the Bulls making a change here. Vucevic has checked in. And now let's see the most efficient scoring teams around the league this season. Number one, the Bulls. The smart offensive moves this team makes helps them open up the floor and find great looks. That's how they've secured such an impressive shooting percentage. Williams, a screen on Garland. Caruso, the pass to Williams. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one's on Darius Garland. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. That free throw, no good. That one misses. The Cavs have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. To the middle. And Mobley gets it to go. 
And now it's a four-point Cleveland lead. And they seem to have a hard time picking good shots in the first quarter, but it's all coming together now for them here. Vucevic, a screen on Mitchell. Levine passes to Vucevic. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And it's hard not to foul Vuce inside. He uses all of his size to go after his shots. No good on the free throw. Karis Levert checked in for the Cavaliers. And he sinks the second. Now here's Garland. He's coming off a 10-point game against Chicago. And he didn't just create offense for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swap. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. There's 37 seconds left in the half. Blocked by Vucevic. It's awesome seeing Vucevic go after blocks. When he makes his presence felt, it makes a difference. And here's Rubio. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Nice shot by Stevens. And the Cavaliers lead by five. And since the first quarter, we've seen them reduce their attempts from downtown. And quite frankly, I think that's a good idea. Levine finds Caruso. DeRozan for three. Levert with a rebound. Pass to Rubio. Fires the three. And no good. It's good if it goes. That one doesn't drop. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Cavaliers on top, up by five. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Hey, folks. As we get going with our halftime recap, first order of business, injury status report some tough injuries on that list. Shaq, what's the most pain you've ever felt? Ernie, I've been knowing you since 89. And when you didn't come to my birthday party, it hurt, Ernie. I sent you a personal invite and everything. Well, I was going to guess when you did your MCL, but getting stumped by Ernie, that's much more painful, yeah. Big fella, if I had known it meant so much to you, I would have told you no to your face. Sorry, I got places to be. Oh, <laughs> whoa. All right, let's focus on the half of play we just saw. It's proving to be an uphill battle for the Chicago Bulls. They were sloppy, gave the ball away too much, and that comes down to one thing, flow, kiss. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Shaq, I, I was distracted. Um, focus. Did you say something, Shaq? Yeah, my fact, focus was deterred. What, did you say something, Kenny? Uh, what? Yeah, I, I said focus. I said focus, not I want to kiss. Faux kiss. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Nikola Vucevic has come to play here in this one. <laughs> yeah, even with the extra attention he's getting from the defenders, he's finding ways to excel. He's just that good. You can plan for him, but he just makes great adjustments on the fly. On the court for Chicago. And at forward, it's DeRozan and Williams. Zach Levine out there with Alex Caruso. And it's Vucevic in at the five. And the strength of DeRozan is evident on these takes, shrugging off defenders like it's absolutely nothing, like they're not even there. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Allen, and it's Allen who slams it home. 
He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Chicago trailing here. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now, you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their form. Could be a game changer, though, with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. Garland for three. Got a piece of it. And they get it back. And Vucevic with the block. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Caruso outside. Vucevic, a screen on Mitchell. Caruso, the pass to Vucevic. And the shot goes in. Vucevic has got nine. What muscle from the big man. Vucevic is no stranger to having to work through contact. The Cavaliers have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Cleveland calls timeout. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And it's Desumu in for Caruso. And the shot is good by Garland. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Allen's got six rebounds in the game. Garland finds Mitchell. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got his fourth assist in this one. All heart. Mitchell scoring down low. I mean, Donovan plays the game with such passion. DeRozan right side. Drummond with the screen. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. The Cavaliers leading. Pass to Osman. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. And a miss there on the triple. For Chicago, they've gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. The kick out to White. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be Evan Mobley. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. For the Cavaliers. Stevens has checked in for Osman. Karis LeVert comes in for Donovan Mitchell. And Rubio is subbed in for Darius Garland. Right hits them both. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Stevens, right now averaging five and a half a game to the paint. Here's Mobley. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Karis LeVert. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Okoro is checked in for the Cavaliers. Getting up there with the slam. DeMar DeRozan leaves nothing to chance. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Stevens. A minute 50 left in the third. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. One-handed jam. Simple, ineffective, P.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. On the wing, DeRozan. Drummond with the screen. DeRozan passes to Drummond. Here's Okoro. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. It's Levert on the wing. Six to shoot. Mobley, a screen on white. The shot. 
The shot by Levert, no good. They say it's a make or miss league, and there's sometimes that you, you miss. Green, a screen. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. He's been doing that since he first came into the league. DeRozan, his ability to get to the rack at will is unmatched. Now here's Rubio, guarded closely. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. The Bulls have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. To the inside. White, good. And it's now just a one-point Cavalier lead. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. And a different kind of score. DeRozan attempted 741 mid-range jumpers last year. Almost 300 more than anyone else. We throw good, Mobley. And the future is bright for Mobley. He is a big man who possesses the whole packet. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Allen's checked in. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Inside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's on Ricky Rubio. And he makes a first. Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Rubio. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Stevens. And it's Chicago with a board. Vucevic has got rebound number seven tonight. For the lead. Williams passes to Levine. Now here's Vucevic. And here's Caruso outside. Can't knock in the three. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. The Cavaliers on top, up by one. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. They've got Karis LeVert, Jared Allen out there with Jetty Osman. Then there's Mitchell, and it's Garland in at the one. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Here's LeVert, and he goes in for the dunk. <laughs> that's great court awareness. Mitchell's just reliable at noticing when his guys are uncovered. Chicago trailing here. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Fires it from 18. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Vucevic, a screen on Garland. White, the pass to Vucevic. Good on the shot. There's a reason Vucevic shoots a great percentage. So adept and skilled at scoring inside. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. And he lobs it up. Allen can't get it to go. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Just go to show how tight your timing needs to be on this kind of play. Here's Levine. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Some timeouts you just know you're going to get yelled at. And with these turnovers, I'm going to tell you it's not going to be a very pleasant timeout. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for LeVert. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Billy Donovan was saying to the team. He told them, we've got to protect the rim with everything we've got. If we cut down on their easy looks inside, we've got them. It might mean more room for their perimeter shooters, but that's a trade-off he's willing to risk. All right, back to you guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That'll be a second foul of the game. Team foul. 
Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. For Chicago, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Picked by Vucevic. Green, the pass to Vucevic. And Vucevic slams it in. In terms of pure scores, Vucevic, one of the best in the game. And here are the Cavaliers now. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Mitchell against Levine. Shot from 12. Mobley, right side. There's the three. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got six rebounds here tonight. Down low. Stolen by Mitchell. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. They've been taking care of business. <laughs> Especially at the offensive end where they've been totally in sync. Wow! Drummond's able to sink it at the biggest possible moment. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Time, out, time, time called out. here. The Cavs decide to talk it over. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. DeMar DeRozan's checked in for Green. Here's DeSumo. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And now it's a seven-point Bulls lead. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Bulls. A minute 58 left in the final quarter. Mobley on a screen. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Wow, you can see Mobley just growing over time, accepting these responsibilities in this big moment. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Rubio's checked in. A minute 50 left in the fourth. Drummond, the screen on Mitchell. Levine with it. Picked up by Allen. And Drummond with the jam. And he's talked about wanting to improve his all-around game. Levine demonstrating just how unselfish he is with that great pass. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That's his third foul so far. And there's 138 left in the fourth quarter. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time, but on this occasion, he got caught. Now Levine. Pass to Drummond. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. At the line for Cleveland, Jenny Osman. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. So he comes up empty, missing both. The Bulls on offense. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Vucevic, a screen on Rubio. Levine passes to Vucevic. And Vucevic slams it in. Unbelievable shooting down the stretch has them sitting pretty. 1-11 left to play in the fourth. Levine against Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Levine. The three from Mitchell sinks the tray. It's spider time. Donovan Mitchell, ice in his veins. Drummond, the screen on Mitchell. Levine passes to Drummond. Goes back up. And the play by Levine as he finishes it off for two. And the Bulls lead by eight. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. The teardrop. And there's a play by Mitchell inside. What a creative finish by Mitchell. You need the floater as a top scoring guard. 
And so they foul intentionally. Chicago making some changes. Williams has checked in for Drummond. And it's Caruso in for DeSumo. And they go to the intentional foul. First free throw is good. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And Levine's combination of athleticism and shooting makes him dangerous. A multifaceted player with a strong work ethic. So he gets them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Williams with the screen to the paint. Stolen by Mobley. Outside Mitchell. Puts up a three. DeRozan with the rebound. And here's Caruso outside. Misses. This one belongs to Chicago. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Vucevic.